I've moved back to South End where there's the art scene here is thriving and there's a lot more developing so it's sort of inspired me to get a bit more to pick up my practice again. I'm used to making images out of found media from the internet. Um, I'm interested in how easy it is to source information online and find it and manipulate it and use it and then pass it on to something else. I'm also interested in well, this is kind of leading into the actual the Weird Shapes project itself, but the ability online to create an identity um, and how easy it is to pick up information, falsify it, and create an identity from really minimal information. Um, and there's a sort of a level of voyeurism as well involved, in, particularly in social media. So Weird Shapes is a project which is launching in March. It's a sort of participatory interactive project, which isn't actually something I've ever done before. It started off with, I had a dream last December, which obviously it was a dream of mine, so it was full of symbology, which I recognise from my own sort of personal experiences in life, but it also came to a really disturbing ending. Uh, and it sort of had a narrative, which was based around an online mailing list, which was really sinister. So once I'd had the dream, I wanted to record it, but I didn't know how, and also I didn't know why. But then, because the dream brought up so many questions for me about online identity and sharing, I'm keeping the content of the story secret because that's kind of the point. Um, so many questions about that, I thought there might be a way of communicating it in a way which runs parallel to the actual online mailing list itself from the dream. For me, it's experimenting with exposing quite dark elements of my subconscious to all of the possibilities that the online communities can provide. So with that that comes as an experience for me. And I'm looking at developing it in different ways, so taking the actual concept of weird shapes and the consequences of the online world on the physicality of oneself. I experience a symptom of anxiety called disassociation where I feel separate from my body. Uh, in the long term it means I don't really have a solid image in my mind of how I look facially and also my opinions, the way I dress, my personality will change depending on the levels of stress or anxiety. So a lot of my work is based in that struggle to piece together an identity or even a physical self in my mind. But in the society that we live in, a Western society which is increasingly online based, um, and again how easy it is to create identities online, I'm interested in how in control we actually are of these identities.